Welcome to Lecture Online, and here we're going to talk about another way in which we can separate the solvent from the, so from the solution, and it's done through a process of what we call distillation. So it's not as much related to osmosis, but the process, uh, at least the result is the same. What we're trying to do here is separate the water from the salt water so that we can use fresh water, drinking water. And one way to do that is what we call distillation. And the interesting thing is when we add energy, to a, a vat of, of or a tank here of salt water, uh, typically what we could do is put a, a piece of glass over it and then have sunshine come through it, heat up the water, then, then vaporize some of the water. The vapor will then rise to the glass, will then coalesce into little droplets along the glass, and if it's sloped, it will just come run down and into a, a bucket right here where you can then collect your fresh water, your drinking water. Matter of fact, that's a technique that we can use out in the desert when we're lost and we have no water, and you can find a way in which you can actually uh, get the evaporation from maybe a, uh, you know, maybe dig down into the sand and you find some, some, uh, uh, some, moisture, some moisture in the sand, you can actually get that to evaporate up and maybe with a piece of plastic collect and you can actually have some drinking water on that. That's a survival technique. But we can do this in large scale. Um, that's been tried. These are the, this is a method that we tried to already get uh, water out of the desert regions by uh, putting a distillation, uh, like a dis, uh, distillation uh, mechanism like this together. But it turns out it's not a very practical way. We just can't get a lot of volume of water out of the process like that. There's the reverse osmosis is indeed a more economically feasible way to do it. Nevertheless, the interesting part is if you do have a solution like this and you do have heat entering the solution so that you agitate the molecules and some of them will then be more likely to jump free, it turns out you can actually separate the solute molecules from the solvent molecules in a distillation process like that, which is kind of an interesting way to separate the two. So it's not really osmosis per se, but the, res the end result is the same way in that when you put heat into a solution like that, you can actually separate the solvent molecules from the solute molecules.